Hey, uh, Patrick Kelly, uh, distinguished architect um, at Zoom. Uh, fully transparent. I work. I do work for Zoom. I am a full time employee for Zoom. I am not a spokesman for Zoom. I am not a figurehead for Zoom. I just typically like to talk about uh, cool technology, and a lot of times that happens to be stuff that Zoom's doing. Uh, today, it happens to be stuff that Zoom and Microsoft uh, are, are doing. Uh, Microsoft uh, makes obviously a ton of amazing products. One of them that have been around for, it seems like 4,000 years is, is Outlook, right? Outlook is the premier probably email viewing client of all time. I personally use Outlook uh, every day, uh, and I also use Zoom every day. And guess what? I also use Teams every day. And inside of Outlook, when you install Microsoft Teams, you also install what they call the Teams plugin. The Teams plugin is, a, is an icon within the Outlook ribbon that allows you to schedule Teams meetings. By the way, Zoom does the exact same thing. I actually did it. This is a fresh install of, of Zoom today. Uh, fresh install of Office 365 today. Everything's default. Everything is vanilla. I don't have any policies at all, but I've installed Outlook. Actually, Office 365 click to run. Uh, I have a full E5 license in case that matters. For the purpose of the demo, it does not. Uh, I also have the Zoom desktop client installed, uh, version 5.1.3.7123. With that, uh, I also have the Zoom plugin for Microsoft Outlook installed at 5.11.3.563. None of those are really uh, uh, important to this discussion. I'm just telling you what version I'm, I'm on. Where we get into the crux of the discussion is this, right? Is this, is that today I have Outlook. Today I have Outlook uh, and we'll just start off. When we start off with Outlook, we have Mail, right? And Mail has a, a ribbon on top. In the past, the Zoom uh, add-in used to be right here. Uh, today, now it's over here. I'm not sure who moved it over here, whether it was Zoom or whether it was Microsoft, but somebody did. And now it's hidden underneath the ellipsis where it says schedule a meeting and start an instant meeting. I also have it uh, inside my calendar as well. If I go to my calendar, I'm actually going to have two different things, right? One is going to be uh, the, uh, the, the Zoom ellipsis right here of schedule a meeting and start a meeting. I also have that for Teams. So I can actually start a meeting, an ad hoc meet now meeting, or I can schedule a new Teams meeting. Either one is, is fine. Here's the behavior that somewhat has changed uh, since uh, I believe June is when this was rolled out in the Microsoft tenant world. If I go to info, sorry, I go to file and then I go to options. If I go to calendar and if I go to this first option right here, add, add an online meeting to all meetings. Add an online meeting to all meetings. This would be fantastic if I only use one UCAS meeting provider. I use two. <laughs> a lot of us use two. And it's sort of a sumptive of Outlook to assume I'm only going to use one. And that one, in this instance, has to be Microsoft Teams. Well, I just showed you I used Zoom and Teams together. I, When I create a new online meeting, I want the choice to create uh, what kind of meeting I want. And this setting actually assumes I want every single meeting I create to be a Teams meeting. Um, well, that's a problem if I'm using Zoom as a plugin. I'll give you an example. I just created a meeting right here. Let's uh, go ahead and hit this and we'll get out of here. I just created a new Zoom meeting using the Zoom schedule meeting plugin button. So a couple of things you're going to see is by default, it puts in my admins Zoom meeting. Fantastic. That's all I care about. It's a Zoom meeting. I can see that I typed in somebody to invite to the meeting. Fantastic again. The time of the meeting. Fantastic again. This is when it starts to maybe go off kilter a little bit is that remember, I clicked the Zoom meeting add in button and it did create a Zoom meeting. I can see the body of the, the invite has the Zoom meeting right here. Problem is, look at this thing, Microsoft Teams meeting. By that previous setting where it says, add all meeting, every meeting has to be an online meeting to add, automatically add Teams, I wanted a Zoom meeting. I clicked the Zoom meeting button. Microsoft and, and Teams and Outlook have now inserted a Teams meeting into my Zoom meeting. That's not what I wanted. If I wanted a Teams meeting, I would have hit the start Teams meeting button, but I wanted a Zoom meeting, so I hit the Zoom meeting button. 
It created the Zoom meeting, but it also created a Teams meeting right here, as you can see in this location. Microsoft has actually parsed this URL down to be nice and pretty where it says Microsoft Teams meeting. Uh, this big hex of a URL is a Zoom meeting. You can see that because it says zoom.us right there. But Microsoft doesn't parse that down to look all pretty and nice. <laughs> Shock, shocking there. Um, so there we have a Zoom meeting. And uh, the, that's the problem. If we go down, all the Zoom meeting information is here. That's, uh-oh. Now we have Microsoft Teams meetings embedded below the Zoom meeting, even though I hit the start a Zoom meeting or schedule a Zoom meeting button. This is a problem because now it's created two meetings in one invite. Users that are sending the meeting don't even hardly even notice, but users receiving the meeting are now going to get a meeting body with two different invites. Here's the problem too, is now I just sent this meeting. Outlook has just alerted me that I have a, a, a new Zoom meeting. It says right here, it says Zoom meeting right here. The problem is it says join online. I assume as a user, I'm going to join my Zoom meeting that I created online. That is a wrong assumption. It actually joins the Teams meeting that you just created online. So now I've created a Zoom meeting. I'm now forced into a Teams meeting. I didn't know I created by hitting that button. Let's go ahead and hit snooze. I obviously have this meeting as well. I have this meeting in my calendar. It clearly says admin Zoom meeting. It clearly has the URL of the Zoom meeting, but look at that. It also has the Microsoft Teams meeting and this join online button once again, does not join the Zoom meeting I thought I created. It actually joins the Teams meeting that I created. This is super confusing for a user because the, the, attend, the invitee thinks it's a Zoom meeting, joins the Zoom meeting from the Zoom client. Everyone else that accepted it in their calendar joins the, the secret Teams meeting that was created. This is bad behavior, right? We want one meeting, one solution. I would expect the same thing if I clicked the Teams meeting, the new Teams meeting, I would expect not to be a Zoom meeting un inserted underneath to confuse everybody. That's what that setting is for. Now I can go in and turn off that setting. I can turn off this setting inside of calendar and I can, I can literally turn this off. Now it won't add any meeting information, Teams meeting, since it's only a Teams meeting setting, it won't add any online information and now when I go to physically create a new meeting, I go to create a new Teams meeting, it's gonna create Teams meeting and have the Teams meeting stuff in it. If I go to create a new uh, Zoom meeting, I'm going to create a new Zoom meeting with all the Zoom stuff in it. This is what I want. I don't want that setting clicked. Or if I have that setting clicked, I want to be able to pick what provider I'm going to choose for my online meetings. In the Windows version, this does not happen. And the Mac version, it does. So let's go ahead and open up the Mac experience and see the difference between Windows and Mac from an online meeting perspective. Let's open up email here and then let's go to file and let's go to, uh, whoops, uh, let's go to Outlook and go to preferences. Here's the difference. We're gonna go to calendar now. We're gonna go to calendar and now look at this, add online meetings to all events, but there's a configure button. The configure button lets me do one of two things. I can actually pick online meetings inside of Teams. I can also pick online meetings inside of Zoom once I install the Zoom plugin. That's the difference between the Mac version and the, the, the Windows version is I actually get to choose my, my preference. So a big difference there. The other difference too is it also happens in OWA. With I, when I go to mail, I actually can also see when I create a new meeting when inside of Outlook Web Access, I can actually create a new meeting at a new event and pick which provider I, I can provide. So right here, it literally says Teams meeting. I can actually check this box off so it automatically creates a Teams meeting every time. That's great if I exclusively use Teams, but I do not, I also use Zoom. So in Outlook Web Access, I do not have the ability to depict what provider. So a couple of changes that are in the Outlook world that uh, work with, with Teams and Zoom together, it's just that when you have that default baseline setting set in a Windows version of Outlook, it automatically defaults to Teams and puts that Teams meeting underneath the Zoom body 
causing massive chaos is really what it's doing. So uh, that's the fix to turn that off. I would prefer maybe if, uh, if Outlook had that off by default, but it doesn't, but that's the resolution. All right, I hope that was helpful and clarified a few things for everybody.